Some of us are thinking that we're going to have a competition to see who can give the shortest presentation. Um, are you ready for that? All right, so here you go. Uh, no, skipping. Uh, no, skipping. Um, there's, a, there's a little table in here that I would encourage everybody to look at at the top right corner. Um, I see very interesting statistics and different things all the time. In the United States, if you look at our average units, uh, watts per person, in the USA today to get to 900 gigawatts of peak load. If you just use 1,300 units for 1 1.2 billion people, that's 900 gigawatts. So when you hear things like India is becoming power surplus, maybe not. Um, the overall purpose and thought process in these numbers is just a recognition of the bottom curve. That electrification of a nation is the single thing in human history that ties to the health and welfare of a nation. There's never ever been an indice before that's ever tied to a nation's total health and welfare. Electrification is the first thing that ever has. And it's crucial to make sure that you electrify the nation in a way that allows its people to be successful. And this is a key point that uh, I think going forward that everybody must recognize about what the goal is. And there is no silver bullet. There has to be base load generation, there has to be transmission, there has to be different things. But today, because of technology, you can do some things very differently. So lots of challenges in the industry, but do remember that what is actually happening is connected customers are changing all industries, all industries across the board. You can go through lots of different examples. My favorite one is Uber and New York City taxi cabs. You take a perfect monopoly with a perfectly designated service territory with a meter that has a demand charge to get into the cab and an energy charge to go the distance that you're going to go. And it got upended in a perfectly regulated monopoly by technology because technology always wins. It will roll over us if we don't pay attention to it. And at the end of the day, the interesting thing about connected industries and connected customers are it's a network, okay? I am very much opposed to the whole thought process of saying disaggregated microgrids. The, the reason that electrification works is it's the most economic way to do it. While there are reasons to do microgrids until a network can be put in place, at the end of the day, the value for mankind comes from a shared infrastructure. And while you can have resiliency needs and other things by putting all these things together, the overall point at the end of the day of what technology will bring us in this industry today is simply that connected customers with distributed resources will become a positive impact to our grid to make this network of the future work. Because if you think about a network that looks like that, it doesn't work. Thank you.